climate requires changing the way we think about generating power. But the shift to renewable energy sources has not always been the easy one. Keith Carson takes a look at where we are now and what we can expect in the year ahead. The way we make electricity in this country has changed dramatically over the years. For example, in 2000, coal was still king. 52% of the electricity generation in America came from coal, with only a half percent stemming from renewables. As of 2023, coal is down to 17%, while renewables are up to 22%. Here in Maine, our electricity comes from 32% natural gas, 0.4% coal, and 64% renewables, with the remaining 3.5% coming from oil and other sources. So what's in store for 2024? According to the National Public Utilities Council and the U.S. Energy Information Administration, 2024 will be a big year for solar. Generation from solar is expected to increase 40% from 93 gigawatts to 130 gigawatts. Wind energy, however, is expected to grow at a much slower rate of 5%. This is due largely to higher initial costs and permitting challenges. Permitting has been particularly challenging for offshore wind projects, an issue Maine is weighing right now. Another category that is expected to see a big increase is battery storage, set to surge 80% this year. Battery storage is essential if renewables are to someday dominate our power grid. This is because production can ebb and flow with the weather. There'll be less power supplied on a cloudy day versus a sunny day, but the demand will likely stay the same. There are two main ways around this. One is storing the excess energy in batteries for a literal rainy day. The other is an interconnected national grid that can feed a rainy northeast with a sunny desert southwest, for example. Maine seems poised to follow the national trend by leaning into solar. Just in the past three years, the Pine Tree State has gone from 150 megawatts of solar generation to nearly 800 megawatts as of 2023. This increase in renewables isn't entirely driven by concern for the environment. It's about the money. The unsubsidized per kilowatt cost of solar has plummeted in recent years, down a whopping 78% since 2009, proving green energy can also be cost effective.